My wife and I are in Phoenix, Arizona. I came on a little business trip and about to check one off the bucket list today. So we're gonna do a hot air balloon ride. Uh, yesterday we hiked Camelback Mountain. Uh, if you've ever hiked that mountain, uh, you'll know how great of a hike it is. If you ever go to Phoenix, I would recommend that. It's pretty strenuous and uh, it's a little dangerous at the top. So if you're not comfortable bouldering, that's probably not one you wanna do, but I um, had a good hike yesterday, so uh, they're getting ready to inflate the balloon. This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna yell, come on in, and that's when the rest of you start climbing in the balloon immediately, but safely. Immediately means no hem and haw, who's getting in where, just get in the basket. So it's basically gonna be three people in each compartment, okay? Once safely means feet first, not head first. Start standing up, stretch your legs out, okay? Sound good? It's kind of crazy, this thing's gonna carry a 1,200 pound basket and about 12 people. So there's gonna be about, I guess, four or six balloons going up from here. This is the sunset flight. They have an early morning one and then a sunset one. I think I was actually more nervous going whitewater rafting with my family than doing this. It's pretty exciting. You ready, baby? So I actually didn't know this, that they get the balloon kind of inflated with fans and then they start blowing the hot air into it. I always thought it was the hot air to get it inflated like this, but it's, they're just blowing air into it with fans. It's getting bigger. They said that the balloon is 10 stories high. That's a big balloon. This is kind of crazy, but fun. so quiet once the gas stops. <laughs> this is crazy. Three hundred thousand soccer balls, okay? Your typical private balloonist, he owns like a 60,000 cubic feet and his whole basket's the size of one of these compartments. So two tanks, two people. Then it goes one size smaller. It goes into what they call a cloud hopper, okay? No basket. It's a tank with a seat. You strap it to your back and your feet go dangling along. <laughs> so for more, more for the sport enthusiast.
So right now we're about 1,500 feet up, and we're going to keep climbing. It's a little freaky. This is a good way to spot mountain bike trails. This flight ain't over yet, so. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about that on the ground. It's, it's still being written. Right. We'll talk about that on the ground. Here's my, here's, this one pulls it from the outer edge. This one pulls it from the center. So if we come in for a fast landing, we use this one. It deflates the top quicker, so we don't keep dragging. At least that's what the YouTube video said to do. <laughs> I'm trying not to think that I'm standing in a basket, 1,500 feet above the ground. I said, are you on the move already? Yes, Ron, just passing uh, Rambo right now on the ground. Yeah, I know the guy in that balloon, in that plane. <laughs> It's either really good mountain bike trails or in a laundry bag. really good gravel riding. Now you can see this structure over here between the hills. That's a flood control dam. No, we got one about to get off the ground. What do you got up there, Al? So right now we're 4,000 feet off the ground. He said it's about 5,300 feet above sea level. Bar yeah. He's <laughs> heading to the bar. Yeah. <laughs> He's meeting us at the bar. We could just drop down in the There's some mountain bikers down there. Definitely some people on bikes down there. And we see coyotes, rabbits, and then javelina, which is like a wild pig. So what's cool about this is how quiet it is when the gas is not going. Really, really quiet and peaceful. Very nice. And a photo bomber. Okay, so we just landed, and uh, when we took off, there was a big thermal wind that came up, and so some of the balloons that were in that area to take off did not take off. So we were very fortunate that we were able to get up in the air because we're heading back tomorrow, so we couldn't reschedule. Uh, but that was awesome. Uh, definitely uh, check check on the bucket list. Um, just so cool to see the desert and everything down below. So. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.